Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to model surfaces in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In this particular video, we're going to show you how to create surfaces graphically using the Create Surface command. Now this command can be used to draw surfaces graphically by snapping to nodes or grid points in the view window. So let's go ahead and get started. And on the first floor of this plan, I'm going to go ahead and add a surface. Now, what might be easier for me is to go ahead and isolate that level of the system. Now, I've already gone ahead and created some groups within this system, and that'll help me isolate certain plans or certain levels. To select a group, we're going to go to the Data tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and select the Groups icon. This will be available if you've already created groups in your model. Now, as a reminder, if you haven't created groups, you can do that through the Catalog tab in the Ribbon Toolbar. I'm going to highlight the group that I'm working on, and I'm going to click on the Select button, and then I can close the Edit Group dialog. In addition to that, I can also isolate this view on my screen by telling the program I want to view selected objects only. Again, this tool is available in the Data tab of the Ribbon Toolbar. Now, this particular tool that we're going to be using will require me to select nodes in the model. And I'm going to select around the perimeter. I don't need to select intermediate nodes unless they define basically a point that defines the perimeter of the surface. What I am going to notice, however, is that I do want my surface to connect to this point and to this point as well. And I don't currently have a node there. So let's go ahead and create one very quickly. I'm going to start by selecting those particular members to select multiple members at a time. I'm going to hold down my control key. Then I'm going to go to the member tab in the ribbon toolbar and I could tell the program I want to segment a member. I'm going to go ahead and segment the members at their intersections. Now what that did is actually segmented the members and added a node. I really just wanted the node not segmenting the members. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rejoin these members. I'm going to select the members I want to join. I can say merge, merge members, but keep the nodes. There we go. And now my node is available. I'm just going to go ahead and fix this up on the other side. So this is a good tool if you don't actually have a node where you're wanting one. Okay, at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and create my surface in this area. So to do that, we're going to go to the Model tab in the Ribbon Toolbar. This is basically your area that you're going to go to whenever you're creating any type of system or object graphically. I'm going to go to the Create Surface icon and select it. You're going to notice that your cursor is going to change. So what I need to do is I'm going to click along the perimeter of my surface. I'm going to start with this node here and I'm going to continue clicking along. Now again to avoid warped surfaces you want to make sure that all the nodes that you're picking are within the same plane. After you've selected your last node go ahead and just double click on your first node again to complete your surface. Now what you're going to notice is that in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler we stay in a modeling configuration until we tell the program that we're done. To tell the program that you are done, you can re-invoke the Create Surface icon or hit the Escape key, which gets you out of the active modeling mode. Let's go ahead and turn on our entire model again. To do that, we're going to go to the View tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and unselect the Selected Objects Only icon. Now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and rotate my model because what I'd like to do is see the back end. Now what you're going to notice is that this particular area has sloped framing. Okay, and I want to create a surface for this particular area as well. Now since these are in two different planes, I do need two different surfaces to define this information so that STAD Pro will have all the information in order to create that analytical model for me. So again, I'm going to go to my modeling tab in my ribbon toolbar 
tell the program I want to create a surface and I'm going to click the nodes that are all in the same plane around the perimeter and double click on my starting node. If I want to reset my view, I can go back to an isometric view and then as always, you want to save your model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.